So I'm joined here by assistant coach Brian Day here for the Weird College baseball team. A big comeback victory over Pomona Pitzer, 6-4 to four this afternoon. Now, Brian, how does it feel getting this big victory and keeping the winning streak alive at seven games? Well, more importantly, it was, it was good to see the kids have resilience and uh, come back, bounce back, not giving up hope. Um, fighting the whole time was the most important thing. We didn't give in at any point, even though it felt like a 9-2 game through seven innings uh, when it was actually a 2 ball game. Yeah, and really, who stood out to you today? Our pitching staff and our defense, to me. We won this game. We kept in this game because of our pitching and defense. Uh, Nick, even though he didn't have his best stuff today, uh, he battled, kept us at four through seven innings, did his job as an ace, not having his best stuff, you know, keeping us in there. Um, bullpen. I mean, Webster came in and shut the door. It was aggressive. Uh, first pitch, getting ahead of everything. And once again, our defense with three double plays in the first four or five innings. Uh, and, and the way we ended it with our uh, second, third string, second base, and shortstop in there, uh, coming in with a big, big two out put out in that ninth inning or eighth inning. And then what do you think the team needs to improve on moving forward here with some tough uh, sky competition and some non-conference opponents coming in next week? What I think we need to improve on is when we get excited, when we get hyped up, we have to keep a more of a mental, a strong mental approach when you're in the moment. Uh, we can't get too hyped up. For example, Julian had an at-bat in that, in that eighth, eighth inning uh, where the excitement got too much to him. He got in his head too much and he was too high riding the emotion rather than kind of staying in the moment, being mentally mature, and understanding he got a job to do in that situation. Great. Thank you, Coach. No problem.